Hi, it's Eric. Today I'm going to talk about digital inputs and how I use the isolation board in order to trigger a digital input to the Servo GX. The isolation board will prevent a high voltage signal going into the digital input. So for my test, what I'm going to use is a single channel isolation board and it's going to be connected up to my generator run signal. And what I want it to do is to tell me when the generator is actually running. The generator run signal is the orange wire and it's a 12 volt. This isolation board is a 12 volt isolation board. So I put the 12 volts into the plus input. The black wire is a ground. The yellow wires are the digital input wires. One is for ground, which will go to the bottom digital input. And then the other one is the output for the data signal to the servo GX top position. Once the isolation board is connected, then we'll go to the Victron app for the servo GX and go into the setting. We'll go into the settings IO. Then we're going to go into the digital inputs. We'll click on one of the digital inputs, and I've already done that with uh, digital input one, and we'll set it to generator. Once this is done, the generator will now be listed in the device list. And we can now see its current state is stopped. Let's look at the display and see how it's working. Here we see the generator device in yellow and it's running and you can see that it's input one. Are there alternatives to using an isolation board? Yes, maybe, kind of. If you take the two wires from the Servo GX and touch them together, you'll get the same signal. It'll show that the generator is stopped. So some people will use an ordinary like automotive five pin relay in order to connect those two wires together. The only issue with that is there's a potential of some EMF some bleed over connecting those two wires from the coil of the relay. Does it work? It might. Why am I using the isolation board? To simply protect the Servo GX. And if you look at the cost between the isolation board and the relay, the isolation boards are actually cheaper. You can get these isolation boards in single channel, four channel, eight channel, and also multiple um, variations for voltages 12 volts, 24, 48. And you may want to put these in a box or, you know, protect them in some way. If you like this video and found the information informative, please hit the like. It doesn't cost anything and it lets me know that you appreciate my video. If you'd like to see my next video, please hit that subscribe and it'll let you know when it comes out. Thank you.